What's up Vital viewers, today we are taking a look at E13's new 12 speed upgrade kit. Now this is the TRS Plus upgrade kit and what it does is it allows you to essentially hack your existing 11 speed SRAM stuff, whether that's GX, X1, X01, or XX1 and convert it into a 12 speed drivetrain. This kit runs $299. Now that's not a small chunk of change, so why should you care and why is this a worthy upgrade? Well, chances are you paid quite a bit of money when you made the 11 speed upgrade, uh, say four or five years ago. And this is gonna allow you to get some more life out of these components. Both your shifter, your derailleur can continue to be used. Now the other big benefit in most people's eyes is going to be additional gear range. You're gonna be going from 420% on an existing SRAM setup up to 511% of gear range. That's a 10 to 42 tooth cassette up to a 9 to 46 tooth cassette. That extra 90% range is going to go a long way when you're looking to climb up those steep hills or when you're trying to mash a little bit higher on the descents. More range is better for what we do as mountain bikers in most cases. Okay, so E13 also offers an 11 speed cassette with the same 9 to 46 tooth gear spread that doesn't require you to make any drastic modifications to your shifter or derailleur. So why would I opt for this $300 version that's a little bit more expensive and has the same gear range? Well, the reason is is because when you go from 11 to 12 speeds on over the same range, you're adding basically another cog inside of here, and that reduces the, the gear steps between each cog, which means faster shifting. Definitely a nice benefit. Now, in addition, for those extra 50 bucks, you're also getting a brand new chain and you also get a shifter cable. Good refresher, right? So to make this upgrade from 11 to 12 speeds, we're going to have to modify both the shifter and the derailleur using components that E13 provides. Is this something that SRAM's gonna approve? Not likely. Uh, chances are it's gonna void your warranty. Is that an issue for you? It's something that you're gonna have to evaluate given the benefits of the system. Now you're probably wondering, how does this compare to a SRAM Eagle drivetrain? Well, if we were to compare it to SRAM GX Eagle, one of the most affordable Eagle options, in the price category, you're looking at a difference of $299 for the E13 kit versus $375 to get a derailleur, cassette, chain, and shifter for GX Eagle. Another major difference is weight. The SRAM GX Eagle cassette weighs 115 grams more than the E13 cassette does. Finally, the range is different. On this guy, we're getting 511% range versus the SRAM, which offers 500% range. So there is a slight difference there. You get a little more range out of the E13 kit. Okay, so what's inside of this kit? Let's take a look. First off, you have your 12-speed E13 TRS Plus cassette. And then inside of the kit, very quickly, we've got a new shifter cable. Got some small components that go inside of your shifter. These little guys are gonna modify the derailleur. We have a brand new 12 speed chain. A nifty little tool, which you can use to modify your shifter. A small bottle of grease, which is gonna keep everything running smooth. And finally, they've included a tool kit to do the entire installation. Okay, now there's a few cool things about the cassette that I wanna dive into. First of all, it's two pieces. This piece is aluminum, this piece is steel. What that does is it allows you to replace the two aluminum gears, which you're gonna use a lot while you're climbing when they wear out. This is less likely to wear out quickly. So basically, you can keep that cassette going for longer. Now, another interesting thing that E13 has done is with this new cassette, rather than requiring a proprietary tool like their previous cassette did, this one uses a new pinch clamp design and that just cinches in around your XC driver body. Once that's done, it's as simple as rotating this on and just locking everything into place. So with that, I'm gonna hand it over to E13's Connor Bondlow and he's gonna walk you guys through the installation procedure. Hello and welcome to E13's 12 speed upgrade kit video. We're gonna start first by modifying our shifter. The beginning of this video is gonna to pertain to the X01, X1, and GX shifters. Tools that you'll need to do this are the T25 Torx tool, 2.5, three and four millimeter Allen wrenches. The parts that you'll need are the GX shifter ratchet and spool, the pivot bolt washer, and then this tool, which we call the claw. So let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is release the tension in the spring if there is any. 
Okay, and now we're good to remove the cover. With the three millimeter Allen, pull this bolt, set the bolt and the cover aside. And now we're gonna flip this shifter over and this is where you can first see these bolts right here. This is sort of holding the whole shifter together. The claw actually matches up with those three bolts. On the X01 and X1, shifters you can actually remove the lever and you're gonna have to because this bolt interferes with the claw and that becomes a problem later so we're gonna go ahead and remove this lever now okay now you can see that the claw matches up with the bolts free of any obstruction we can take our 2.5 millimeter allen wrench and pull these bolts so when you're removing these bolts, make sure that you are pinching the shifter body with your hand to keep everything from coming apart. Set these bolts aside somewhere where you can reach them. Flip the shifter body over. We're gonna remove this plastic cover. Now we've exposed the internals of the shifter. As you can see, I'm holding this shifter together because the bolts are removed. Now we're going to place the claw over the bolt holes and reinstall the bolts into the claw. So the claw basically holds everything together while we swap out the spool here in a little bit. You don't have to torque these bolts at all. You can thread them in until they bottom out. The short one will go through this hole that's completely covered with metal. Okay, now we have the claw successfully installed and we can remove the spring to expose the spool. Flip the shifter over and put the T25 here in the bottom. And then we're gonna take our four millimeter, put it into the pivot bolt. With the T25 hooked up and the four millimeter on top of the pivot bolt over here, we're gonna wanna unthread and applying more pressure on the right. There's a little bit of knurling on this pivot bolt, so it sort of bumps as you turn, but you can just power through that. Okay, we can see the spool starting to come off. That's all good. So we've got the pivot bolt here and that bearing came out, but we can just go ahead and slide that off the pivot bolt and pop it back into the spool, no problem. This whole unit is going to be removed. Okay, so now we're gonna take our E13 ratchet and spool. We're going to install the washer here on the bottom. After a light greasing, everything should stick pretty easily. And then the E13 pivot bolt goes in through the top of the spool. Make sure everything's snug and we can drop this back onto the shifter body. You'll want this spool sort of fully clocked in the relaxed position, which is at the end of the teeth here. Uh, you're gonna need to bump this thing a little bit. This, this whole arm here sort of springs forward and everything falls into place. So, okay, that looks good. Everything's stacked. All right, now we can thread this bolt back in. Take your four millimeter and your T25, go ahead and thread. Go ahead and remove the claw. Again, that's the 2.5 millimeter Allen. Now when we pull this thing, we wanna be careful not to let anything come apart. Okay, and now we're good to reinstall the spring. There's a little little lip you want to get that inside coil over just like that and then the bent end goes in the hole there and then this other end should just fall right into this die cast little notch when you put this internal cover back on you can see how this outer coil sort of rides over that edge right there that's crucial you can flip this thing back over and fire those bolts in from the right side Okay, we should be safe to reinstall the lever now. And the cover. Okay, give it a few test clicks. Perfect. Okay, so now we've successfully uh, upgraded our 11 speed 
X01, X1, or GX shifter to work for a 12-speed drivetrain. If you're running XX1, stick around. I'll show you how to uh, do a few special steps for that shifter. If not, feel free to skip ahead to the derailleur segment of this video. Now we're gonna show you how to upgrade an XX1 shifter from 11-speed to 12-speed using your E13 upgrade kit. What you'll need in terms of tools, it's a three millimeter, 2.5 millimeter, four millimeter Allen wrench and a T25, but you're also gonna need an S3 uh, square bit like this. This is included with your kit. You should have everything you need. You'll need the same spool, but with the XX1 uh, ratchet part. Both ratchets fit onto the same spool. And again, you'll have the universal bolt as well. You do not need a washer for this procedure. And uh, the first step is to make sure that our spring is fully relaxed in the shifter and we will remove the cover. So you've got quick access to the spring in here. Uh, there's no inside cover like there was for the lower model shifters. We'll pull this spring right now, set that aside, take the square bit and insert it onto the bottom of the shifter here. Keep the square bolt steady while we unthread the four millimeter pivot bolt out of the top. So apply pressure from the bottom so that we're just getting the four millimeter pivot bolt to back out rather than both things to back out at once and, and make the whole shifter loosen up. Now we're gonna see the stock spool and ratchet sort of come off along with the bolt here. Pull the whole thing off at once and just set it aside. Okay, so now we take the XX1 ratchet pressed onto the E13 spool from the kit and we're going to put it ratchet side down onto the body of the shifter. Take the pivot bolt from your kit and insert it through the bearing. And we'll tighten that down with our four millimeter Allen wrench. And remember this whole time I've got the S3 square bit into the back of the shifter. Tighten that until it's snug walk the spool manually back to the relaxed position. So we'll hold the shifter like this and you can use your three or four millimeter Allen. Pull that lever with a finger and just walk it back like that. Okay, so now we know we are in the relaxed position. So now we're good to reinstall the spring. So take the inner bend of the wire and drop it into this square hole right here next to the E13 logo. And then the other end, pretty easily fits around this peg. And we're not done yet. It's extremely important that we push the inner coil of this wire underneath this plastic tooth. Shifter won't function right unless you get that in there snug. And properly greased, you can throw the cover back on. and your XX1 11 speed is now a modified 12 speed shifter. Now we're gonna upgrade our 11 speed derailleur and make it 12 speed compatible. All you're gonna need for this process is a three millimeter Allen wrench and uh, the spacers and bolts provided in your E13 12 speed upgrade kit. Our first step is going to be pushing the cage forward and locking it in place like that. We'll take our three millimeter Allen wrench and remove this bolt when removing the pulley, be careful to not lose the back plate. If you pull the cage first, you can get them both out clean. And now we're gonna replace this front plate. You can tell the difference because the one on the back doesn't have a little lip on it. It's more like a washer. And the lip is actually on the cage itself. And we're gonna replace the one that looks most like our spacer. And this one has a little lip on it. We're going to lightly grease the replacement plate before installing. Now we have the pulleys all set up and we can reinstall them. Your E13 kit should come with two bolts, one of them longer than the other. We're gonna install the lower pulley first using the longer bolt. This doesn't have to be completely tight we can leave it a little bit loose so it's easier to get the other pulley in. Now 
So now I have two 11 speed derailers, one of which has been upgraded and the other one is not. The one on my left, as you can see, doesn't have the spacer. The one on my right, you can see the pulleys are pushed outward a little bit more. This moves the pulleys inboard enough to reach the 12th cog on our 12 speed cassette. Okay, now that you've tightened those pulley bolts to two Newton meters, this formerly 11 speed derailleur is now compatible with our 12 speed cassette. Reinstall this along with your newly upgraded shifter, run through all your gearing, make sure everything's working okay, and uh, you should be good to go. Thanks for watching.